Somebody took the cable off. I suppose the last guy that used this goddamn thing, but that should be a hot one. We might not have a ground. Got the fuck much paint on this goddamn truck. Here. I use these jumper cables. This uh, toter usually grounds on the truck. So this is a ground here? No, that's hot. Okay, so which one's your ground? This is the ground. Oh, okay. So we need to ground, ground this whole truck. damn thing. So you might not have too much paint on here. So hook onto this and see if you can get a ground on the truck. And you got to fasten that cable up there to the hot. You got a pair of vice grips? No. This needs to go. Oh, yeah. Where's those vice grips? Right here. Go ahead and that hot one on the, on the battery. I'll bet you that guy took this off and put jumper cables on Son this. Bitch. They don't give you much room. Bro, oh, I, can't, I can't catch a fucking break, dude. I can't catch a fucking break. So, this should be hot. I don't know what. There he goes. Okay, so we need to get one. now and see if we can find yeah. the hole. I'm not good at finding the hole, Richard. No. Well, you help him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that. He's lying sack of shit. I'm going to let it down and see if it comes, yeah. comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, can you move it? Easier? It's trying to move. Do you see a hole showing up though? No, not no? yet. Let me grab that crowbar. I got it right here. I'm too old for this shit, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing it then? I'm too old for this bullshit I, too. I, I, I'm just dumber than mother box of rock. I refuse to file as a Democrat. It ain't moving for some reason. Will it go down anymore? Yeah. Yeah, I think the lower we go down, I think the better off we'll be. Yeah, look at that thing moving. Right now. Well, it ain't moving. Is it moving this bar, Lita? No. What's it doing now? It's tighter now. Yeah, it's tighter. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Is there a hole? Not yet. Keep going. 
Where's the right there? Um, Where's the pin? I think it's, is it this one right here? The little pin, yep, yeah. yep. That's the one, see if you can get it in there. I don't want to put that on the grease. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you gotta it's make that noise, tight. it won't come out. I got it. <laughs> Fucking thing, huh? <laughs> That's cotter pins for you. Is that gonna All work right. right there, Richard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Fuck. Here's what we gotta do. Now I gotta tighten those side ones down. Huh? Tighten what? Those bolts, don't I? Maybe they'll tighten some more. Yeah, well, I'll try it. But here. So I'll clean this to my bottom. Lift this up and stick the pin in there. You lift, you pull the pin out. You let it all the way down. Yep. Let your air out of your truck. Back yep. up to your frame and get chain it, everything up. Get this as close to the frame as I can. Down over the end if you can. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a back plate. I don't have a back plate nope. on mine like this. Okay. Well, you'll figure it out. Okay. But anyway, this has got to go up here so it don't swing. The truck don't swing. Okay. And there's a chain here we took yeah, off. Yeah, well, we got to put that back too. Drop it down all the way as far as you go. Because when you pull, start to pull, this yep. thing will rock back and that chain will stop it. I see. Now see if you can get these tighter. Yeah. And this chain goes around there. This is a safety chain. See, I got it around the frame. Okay. Okay. Do the same over here. Which chain was that? This chain? Yeah. You went around that shock holder. Should I go around the shock? Yeah, go around the front. Of it. No, go. You got to go in there and, and hook it here. Oh, I see. Take it around this way. Yeah, yeah. It's just a safety chain, is all it is. It ain't doing nothing. And then I hook the frame. Yeah, okay. there you go. Okay. I love you, Richard. You can stick this thing in your ass. <laughs> It'll probably fit after I uh, pay for everything. Okay, now these big chains you gotta take. Where are they at? They're laying over here. More with the light. Fill them with the light, man. Oh. I don't know what these chains are for. That's probably for your skid steer, I imagine. Grab that one and bring it with you. Is that your skid steer, skid steer chain right there? Yeah, it's one of them. I got lots of shit. Unless you think it'll ride if I just wrap them around this thing. Well, you got, you got any bungee cords? No, they're all on my trailer. Oh, well, they'll be gone then. They'll be gone then? <laughs> I hope not. No, I mean, the chains will be on if you ain't got bungee cords. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. This one's extra long. You might be able to use this chain, one chain, to go around the truck on each side. Oh, we'd be there by now, Richard. Yeah, well, you I thought I'd be eating tacos and drinking a beer. And loving up your wife. How's that? Yeah. You got fooled, didn't you? Now I'm dirty as hell. Is it still on the batteries up there? It is. I can take it off. Me yeah, that's off. fine. Yeah, but I'm tell just telling you. You yeah. took the fucking ground off. By the time you get down there, maybe this will be wore your paint off so there's a ground. Otherwise, you got to hook that. To the, your truck again, like we had. I would but think it, that fifth wheel would be good enough. Well, it's got on it, grease then. on it, and this here. So now it won't work because we got no ground. But you got to hold that on there, up and down. You'll uh -huh. figure it out. Okay. And we got a bungee cord. No, Give all me my the goddamn thing. All my bungee. Here's a bungee cord right here. Look at that. I bought a truck and they gave me a bungee cord. Can you believe it? Mm-hmm. Fifty-five thousand dollar bungee cord. Welcome to uh, Beloit, Wisconsin. What a uh, magnificent place. So I, uh, I completely jacked up and I don't know how bad I jacked up. 
So, we've gone and picked up the new truck. Um, one of the, uh, one of the power ports wasn't working. So we couldn't run our GPS and our dash camera at the same time. Do you want to walk her or go get us coffee or something? I don't know. I'm, I can go get a coffee. Okay. And, uh, so what we did was we was using this camera. This camera has a setting uh, called loop recording, so you can use it as a dash cam. And um, so we were using this for loop recording because we had to have our GPS hooked up. And uh, I've been recording in loop recording, and I don't know how much footage I've lost. I know I definitely lost last night. So if I repeat, maybe I hopefully I could catch it in editing, but I apologize for that. There's our new truck. This is the first time you're seeing it. I apologize. So it's a, uh, should I just start all over? I don't know what to do now. Uh, 2020 T680, 430,000 miles. Hey, stop pulling me. We went last night, we got in last night, and uh, picked up this arm so we can tow the Mac back. I'll have to show you guys the inside and everything of this thing all, all over again. We got the uh, Wabasa heater going right now. It came with a Wabasa, I think that's how you say it. A Wabasa heater. Um, it's the X15 with the 12 speed Eaton Fuller automatic. It's got disc brakes all the way around. Um, it's kind of a mess in there right now because we've been moving things around. But uh, I, I got my Kenworth. So this thing here, man, I, I really hate I lost last night's footage because we were there for two and a half hours hooking this thing up. And the old guy that owns this, his name's Richard. He's a trip, man. If, um, if you don't have thick skin, he is not the guy for you because like me, I told him, I'm like, I think we're long lost family. Uh, he does not have that filter to stop him from saying whatever comes in his brain. Like, he'll cuss you out. Like, he, 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 he does not, he doesn't care. He has no cares. It's, it was actually kind of refreshing. Because you know with people like that, uh, he's not sugarcoating it and he's not fake. So, while trying to hook this thing up, come here, Mackie, let's show them. So my truck came with these little, um, these things, these uh, these like triangle things that are bolted to the frame that help you get trailers up onto the fifth wheel. And with those, we were unable to hook this up. So that's pretty much what, what took us forever last night. We got all the bolts out of the other side. We got two of the bolts out on this side and this bolt right here would not come out. And he's cussing and he's raising hell. And uh, he's like, just hook a chain to it, I'm gonna pull it with my bobcat, or a skid steer. So we hook a chain to it and we kinda pull it around with the skid steer because there's a little bracket that you have to put on underneath this that bolts this to the frame. So, after we're done with that, I'll probably push that back around and put, those, put the bolts back in maybe. I mean, I don't switch trailers a lot or disconnect a lot, but and then we'll back this thing up and then we have to lower this thing down. And then we chain it to this and then you hook this motor up to a battery and then that lifts, that'll lift this ass end up. Look how, you know, this is a white truck, but just the, I don't know if it's the paint being dead or what. I mean, I polished on this hood a long time ago. It's kind of a shiny white. But just seeing these two trucks together, look at the difference of the color, man. One's nice and shiny. It's sad, man. I really tried my best with this Mac. 
and it's not done with yet. We're still we're still gonna uh, we're still gonna get that thing going. I just can't uh, just can't rely on it right now. You know. All right. Well, I need to walk these dogs. Lita went to go get us some disgusting pilot coffee, and uh, we have to hook this thing up. All right, it took some figuring, but I think we got it. I uh, chained up this front axle because I was paranoid that that wheel would end up hitting if I hit a bump. Because the, uh, the airbags and the suspension allowed it to drop so much. You know, I told Lita when this Mac broke down, I said, uh, and I knew we were gonna get another truck but I thought we were gonna fix this truck. I'm like, how cool would it be if we went ahead and just went and bought the truck and then we made the max last run pulling the new truck home? Because that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna be like, let's pull the new truck with the Mac. Well, one, to keep the miles off of it. Of course, it would have been a nightmare with the fairings. I would have probably changed my mind had it came down to it. But how cool would that have been that the max last voyage would have been pulling the new truck home. So Lee is just bungeeing, bungeeing up these chains. The guy suggested we take the mud flaps off of this, off the one that you're towing, because I guess the mud flaps can get caught up in each other. So we took, like the, took the mud flaps off. That's kind of crazy looking with that triangle piece that we have bent back around. It, it hurt me to see it, but you know what? We were there for so long. I was like, I don't care if we have to take a torch and cut that bolt out. That APU is not supposed to run when that when that truck's running. But as soon as I started the truck, a couple of seconds later, the APU crunk up. I mean, I'm glad for it. I'd rather be able to say, hey, I want my APU running going down the road. Of course. Like I said, this APU runs different than our APU. Look, the uh, Wabasa heater's coming on. It must be cold in the truck. <clears throat> this runs, I believe this has two different alternators. It has a smaller alternator to keep, or maybe it's just one giant alternator, but it doesn't have a generator like the Comfort Pro does. It just uses a giant alternator to keep your batteries charged, and then you run an inverter off the battery just like I was doing with our other one, but our, our alternator wasn't big enough, so. I don't know what footage I've lost. Look, there's a little ding right there from the inside. Looks like this might have gotten pushed a little bit and pushed into that bracket right there. 
give you guys a walk around. I don't know what footage we've lost. It's dirty right now. I thought about going and getting it washed, but the guys, where we picked that up is a disgusting dirt road. And I was like, I knew, I know as soon as I wash this thing up, I'm gonna have to go down that dirt road. So there's some damage on here that uh, he didn't really point out in the pictures. I went back and looked at the pictures and if you zoom in, you pay real close attention, it is there. Like this here, this looks like uh, somebody ran maybe one of those wires in like the median and that wire just kind of cut through it which pushed this back and hit this so that kind of sucks there's some boot damage here from the person getting in and out of the truck his boot scraping on that this piece comes off pretty easy i could paint this piece really easily and then there's this looks like a trailer was backing in at a truck stop and just barely touched it i'm hoping somehow the uh, decal sticker covers that up And then they gave me all the um, air below stuff to make it more um, aerodynamic. I got the wheel covers and all. That's an XM radio uh, antenna. I don't know how long that XM radio or Sirius radio is going to work, but it's working right now. We just got to uh, button everything up and make sure everything's good. I think, are we going to go ahead and pull the mattresses and stuff out right now? Whatever you want to do. I mean, I could go, so we still have to get some type of a brake light set up. Uh, somebody lost his brake light bar. He didn't let me know that before I came and got this. So now I have to run over to Menards or Walmart and I have to rig up something. I'll probably get one of those seven to four way pigtails plug it into here and then run us some temporary brake lights to the front of the truck because I don't think you can just have your hazards on from if it was a short distance maybe but and then I have to uh, strap the steering wheel too so these tires don't try to turn I'm gonna have to uh, horse that horse that wheel around somehow because it's slightly, it's slightly off right now. All right, enough talking. Let me figure out these lights. I'll show you guys everything before we take off. All right, so we are almost ready. So I walked over to uh, Maynard's, found a wireless towing kit. A magnetic wireless towing kit and my bumper is not magnetic so i found this piece of wood in the trees there we have it bungeed to the bumper and then we bungeed these to that to that board the wireless um kit was like 90 bucks and then i had to go back and get it takes uh they take four double a's a piece let me see I'll, something else i got Oh, I got a um, a whiteboard to put on the door to put not for hire. And then to wire this thing up, I was like, oh, I'll just get a, a seven-way to a four-way and plug it in up here. But the semi is completely different than what they sell. The semis are round, and your, your cars and your uh, boat trailers or whatever are flat blades. So I just kind of came in here and uh yeah we have it rigged up it's rigged up lita you have to put a bag on it will it ride i don't know if it'll ride um we could put a bag on it yeah, like plastic bag. yeah. you didn't find any electric tape okay and uh we're almost ready holy yeah. smokes we gotta strap the steering wheel. oh we have to strap the steering wheel i'm glad you reminded me of that almost strap there You got the mattress to swapped over? Yeah. God dang! How they fit? Like a glove? Um, yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. I mean, mine is a little funny. No, let's let's go try them out. <laughs> <laughs> Not for hire, guys. Not for hire. All right, pretty much done. I got this APU running, so uh, we can run the. inverter so that I can run the Starlink 
so that I can upload you guys some videos. So, we'll probably, when we go to stop and check on these chains, I'll probably shut this off. I just wanna make sure the batteries were nice and topped off. I mean, that those batteries should run that inverter, run in that modem for a, quite a long time. So, anyways, I gotta put these steps back on. I gotta hook my computer up, and then uh, we'll be good to go. It's trying to save energy. I missed it though. 10.8, all right. So we are now in uh, Utica, Utica, Illinois. Yeah. Utica, Illinois. Uh, stopping here to get some fuel, we're gonna get a shower, and uh, double check on everything it's honestly this is uh this is pretty scary it's uh it's a little nerve-wracking to be completely honest but uh it's getting down the road so our best fuel mileage that i've seen on the dash so far was 11.7 before we hooked up to this and started pulling this um now it's saying what it what was it 10.8 we're gonna fill this thing up i want to see how accurate that thing is then we're gonna pull around we're gonna park we're gonna we gotta get a shower. Uh, let's see, so the truck's saying we're at 10.85 gallon, or 10.8. 10, 10 Let me see. Uh, trying to find mileage. Screen visibility, gauges. Miles is on this thing. They make this, this this dash is not very user friendly. Nine hundred and eleven miles. What did I say we did? How many gallons? Nine. We did nine hundred and eleven miles. Eight five point eight five. So 911 divided by 85.85. 10.61 miles to the gallon. And this dash was saying 10.8. So we were actually getting, we were actually getting 11 miles, 11 something miles to the gallon empty. That is incredible. All right, we're going to, uh, we're gonna grab a shower. We ready to get a shower, woman? Wait on you. 